What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel here from the Geek Speak Nation channel and I'm here to bring you my reaction to this first official trailer <sighs> to Death Note. Okay, so recently as of two months ago, I watched Death Note, the original series, the original anime, in its entirety in about, in about a week. Like, I just binged through it, it was recommended, uh, and I loved it. It is a phenomenal series, and it's incredible. It's one of the best anime I've ever seen, one of the best TV shows I've ever seen in my life. It's incredible. So, having an adaptation of this specifically for Netflix and for an American audience, this will be interesting to see. There's a lot of elements that have to be changed around, specifically dealing with the investigation of the Death Note and the serial killers and changing that to fit an American format and not it being a Japanese uh, investigation and still keeping that international feel to it will be interesting. Um, and the choices for uh, L is interesting, although I am completely fine with their choice of casting for Light and Ryuk uh, in this, so... We shall see how it goes. We're gonna watch this trailer and see see how close are we getting to the original. So here we go. All the people that make life miserable. <laughs> make life dangerous. What if we can change things? Shall we begin? <laughs> You're a death god. Yes. What exactly can I do with this death note? Put your name down and see what happens. It's not gonna solve a few crimes. I dig the voice. It's gonna solve all crime. Do you think that I'm crazy? I think you're not crazy enough. We could change the world. Okay, so they're still calling him Kira. taking credit for over 400 deaths. Although we do not know how he kills his victims, we do know he's not some omnipotent force. He's a person. Like you or me. You're the one who flew into the sun. I'm just here to make sure you burn. We're not the good guys anymore. I hope you know what you're doing. What they want is a god. So let's give it to them. Okay. So right out of the gate, there are some pretty obvious changes that they're making to make things fit more condensed. Uh, for a film format. So the, now I know it's a film and not a series. Uh, it's a lot of story to try to condense it to a short amount of time. So I think they're gonna make this uh, more montage -y when it comes to L getting his powers of the getting the death note and things of that nature. Uh, just little changes like um, uh, the female supporting character who also has a Shimigami, uh, or in, in this case they call it a death god. Her name is escaping me at the moment, but uh, taking her character and it seems like they're just going to make her the companion, but without a Shimigami, uh, just to make it more condensed and straightforward, because I think when her character is introduced, uh, the rules get more complex when you have two Shimigami uh, working in the same realm and things of that nature. Uh, speaking of Shimigami in and of themselves, uh, I think Ryuk, uh, he, he sounds really good. I think Willem Dafoe is a great casting choice vocally uh, but appearance wise there's like this weird blend of sometimes he looks CGI but at the same time he looks like some dude doing cosplay uh, and I think it just has to do with some of the fabric that they chose to use just for the skin uh, and for the leather that he was wearing it just looks very plasticky and it just I don't know it kind of looks low budget in that sense just Ryuk uh, but maybe as time goes on and they still do more work on the series uh, I will buy into it more um, L, 
I, I think I'll have to watch the movie and see before I fully buy into the actor portraying Al. Um, I think that uh, you, I, it's very hard to sell that complex. It's very hard to sell a character with an extreme God complex as he has. And especially creating that dichotomy as he portrays himself to other people as L. And when he goes into full uh, egotistical uh, Kira, I think that'll be really interesting to see. So whether or not they take the full plot twist of what happens in the series and introducing a new antagonist for Kira, uh, that will remain to be seen depending on what ending they will choose to go with and this whether this is be more of the full ending of the original anime or they may be going with the plot twist uh, part of the series. And try not to spoil it too much. If you haven't seen Death Note, I highly recommend you watch it. Uh, but it will be interesting to see what direction they're gonna be taking this. Um, I'm not against this. I'm not against this. I think it can work to a certain degree, but I think the, the odds would have ever been in their favor if they had possibly stuck more closely to the source material. I think it could be done as a film. I haven't seen the live action ones that were made actually in Japan uh, that were adaptations of uh, this story, but nevertheless, it'll, we, we shall see uh, whether or not they can pull this off for an American audience and whether or not an American audience will really gravitate towards this. I think this is a very strong and hard to swallow uh, concept, even of itself, for no matter what audience you're dealing with, whether it's Eastern or, or Western, dealing with the protagonist who is actually the villain, uh, and finding ways to root for him, and the di diabolical things he ends up doing. Uh, it'll be interesting to see. It'll be interesting to see. With that being said, guys, let me know what you think about this trailer in the comment sections down below. Are you feeling this adaptation, or are you not? Let me know in the comment sections down below. Also, I, I do have to say, the actor that got the play is light, and also the actor from uh, who's ill a little bit of get out and also in Atlanta uh, his name is escaping me at the moment but I think he's a really good actor and I think he's a good choice for um, light so so we'll see where that will take us with that being said ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching this video let me know what you think in the comment sections down below if you like my reaction and my review don't forget to go down there and hit that like button and if you're new here eh, maybe subscribe and get more content like this with that being said ladies and gentlemen I've been Daniel and don't forget to get geeky